Now it's time for us to make this website responsive. So let's again look at our final result. That's what we're after. And let's go back to the HTML. And as I had said before, this site is from WordPress, so it's got a ton of code in there. And it's with big sites like this, it's hard for me to find my way around. So I'm going to go use the inspector key. Did you hear that plane go by while I was getting set up here? Um, all right, so I can scroll through my site over here. This is all there is, really. Um, you know, the other thing you can do, and I might do that right now, I might put my console on the bottom just to make it a little easier to scroll through. And I'll open this up. There. There we go. And I can close this down. Ooh, ooh. I can close this down a little. All right, so the great thing about using the um, inspector tool is that as I hover over a piece of this website, especially if I click that little button right here, as I hover over a piece of this website, it will show up down here in the elements, in the console. So um, the last time I was here in the last video, we discovered that this major this small one right here, the sidebar, is 324 pixels. We discovered that the, I can use my tag tree down here too if it makes things easier. The page, yep, uh, is 960. And there's one called content, I believe, or content area. There it is. And that is 636. So we really just have a little bit of math to do. I'm going to grab my calculator here. And what we want to calculate is what portion of 960 pixels is 324 pixels. So uh, 324 divided by 960. And that is the math that you use to get your uh, percentages. When I say equals, I have a small number that's not quite true. If I times it by 100, that's the last part of this formula, that's the percent. So my sidebar is 33.75 percent of the 900 and what is it that the page was. Um, 960. So we know that. The other thing you can do with the inspector is as you hover over something, you can inspect individual items. So I just hovered over this list item and I got that. Um, it's part of the aside widget. Oh my gosh, look at all these. It's part of the sidebar. So there I am at the sidebar. But you, you can inspect the whole page, or you can inspect individual items. So the other thing it will tell me is that this 324 pixel width, look over here, in my style.css, it is on line 34. How handy is that, right? So I'm going to go to line in my styles, 34, and there's the sidebar, and there's the width. and my calculations were, I'm just going to comment this, um, oops, always do that backwards, uh, divide 320, uh, yeah, 324 by, what was the big one, 960, I think, yep. 960 times by 100. So just to keep that formula handy. Oh my gosh, look at my typing. Just to keep that formula handy. And what we got was 33.75. So 30, oops, I don't need that anymore. 33.75.
percent. And we want to change this also to a percent. So normally I would say 100 percent and that should work. Sometimes when I'm doing this I start with 90 percent and there's no real right answer here. Is it 100? Is it 90? You can look at it and see what it looks like. But the right part of the answer is I'm using percent. I'm using relative units instead of absolute units. And the other one was called content, which is right here. Now I could do my math formula again, right? I could do, I've got it all written down right here. I could divide my 636 by 960. Or I could look at 33.75 and say, oh, it's going to be 66.25. So I think I'll do that because I'm not a mathematician. And I'm assuming that uh, you know where I got the 66.25, right? I got it because, watch me be wrong about this, <laughs> um, 66.25. Two five plus thirty three point seven five equals a hundred. So the way I got at the sixty six was I just you know looked at this and I thought it's got to be a portion of a hundred. I could easily have done this formula again, and I will certainly copy and paste that in the notes. But I would change this to six thirty six. All right, so now we've taken care of those. Let's do a save, a file save, and go back to our index and take a peek and see what's changed. All right, well, already we can see it's filling the whole page. And as I make it smaller, I still have some work to do up here on that header, don't I? But let's see what's happening. So this is really good news. Do you see things now suddenly doing a better flow and as I get smaller, it, it gets smaller too. So we've got a good start on this. Let's look at the next video for a little more.